Hi, welcome back to Spring CS 170. Uh, we're gonna try to wrap up chapter four right now. So we left off last time here. Uh, we're getting images. <clears throat> so I just took a example here, which uh, I'm gonna show you in a second what I did. Yeah, I just did like a random search uh, for images here and then here, you can see I can get the image address, right? So the image address <coughs> is this, right? So what you want to do is you want to put the IMG, you say source equals, and then wherever your image is. Now, in this case, I happen to be getting it from like a, a URL, uh, but you could also have to file locally on your computer. So you would just uh, point to that local file if it's in the same directory as your HTML page. If it's not, then you know, based on our past lectures, how to use the relative path to go and source that image, okay? Uh, oh, actually, I misspelled this, huh? So Rutgers, okay? Uh, and then you have the size in here, okay? Um, I'm gonna have the image, uh, and you can see things like this, right? So. How do you want to position it? There's a couple of different ways you can position it. You can align it to the top, the bottom, left, right, floating around. Um, <clears throat> and this is what it's talking about. So you put the image up there and you can either floats left or floats right and then the text goes around it. So let me show you what that actually means. So here, uh, again, I'm gonna post this up after this lecture. Um, I added some stuff after what we did for last time. You can see here, here's the image, all right? And then here you can see float right, okay? So what does that mean? <clears throat> That's what that means, right? I just put all this random text here, and I also put a URL here too, uh, using href, right? So here you go, right? So I put all this random text here, it's floating to the right, here's the image, right? And then I just put in a URL here. What is this URL? Um, you're gonna see this, right? Uh, again, just another opportunity for you to play around with this, right? So the bottom line is you have this image, uh, in this case it's a smiley, and then you can play around with it. In this case it's saying float right, uh, and then there's some other attributes you can set in terms of the width and the height, okay? So again, I encourage you to play around with these type of things. I'm saving this to the file, I'll upload it shortly, and you'll see that, right? So that's image, right? So just make sure you know what that means. So you have the image, blah, blah, and then you can do some different stuff with it, with height, uh, floating, and whatnot. Uh, and you can see that if you kind of search around or play around with the different things. Um, and then the last part is tables. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna close this out here. We don't need this anymore. Remember, here's the href with the URL. Uh, do try this, I encourage you to do that. Okay? Um, let's see here. Now, tables is the last part here. This is pretty important. Uh, so I do encourage you really to come up with an example uh, of tables and playing around with it in different ways. Uh, and keep that as your notes for when you actually have to go into the exam. Uh, in fact, you know, as part of my extra credit, I'm going to encourage you to uh, essentially copy down this code, write this code down, uh, and then add to it also. You know, add some formatting stuff and colors and whatnot uh, to it. Uh, and then you can use that as a reference when you go into the exam, okay? So, so what does that mean when you do a table? So let's, so it's sort of like more further up when we were doing the list, right? You just have to follow the format on how to set up a table, okay? So uh, let me go over to here, okay? So I would suggest um, for extra credit, you would start with this, right? So type this in, you can even add it to the file that I'm giving you, this week four table list tables, uh, or list tables, I should say. You know, put this all in, right? So look at all the different parts of it. So on the outside, you have the table, right? In this case, we're gonna set an attribute, right? We're gonna set the border equals to one, right? You try two, three, four, whatever, right? Play around with the border, see how you can resize the border. 
and then exactly how this maps out right so you can see uh, the caption here which is this right up here the top part uh, and then within that um, you have this header right th right th and you can see it's right here country and languages right notice the bolding part okay now the other thing to notice this idea of call span column span uh, that in that case is taking two and what that means is you can see look languages Dutch and French right these two columns here um, that's what column span means. it means like the top part here this caption part the header I should say uh, the header um, is taking up two of these columns that's what column span means uh, so it's kind of like merging the columns into one uh, just for the uh, header part if you had a you can imagine if you had another column here on the right and you do column span three um, you would cover three columns right so on and so forth again I encourage you to play around with that um, and so then the the top label um, the header label is languages you can see that here okay languages okay so that's the header part right each notice each one of these things in the table is a row right so that's why it's TR table row right and then table row again table row so the only difference between the top one here is this header one and then TD right so you could you could do it without the TH you can just do TDs all the way down right um, but in some ways the the, the header uh, is sort of like almost like a style type of thing right so you could have done something like a TD and put like a bold and set the font or whatever or you can use this TH and you kind of get like what you would expect for a header uh, automatically so in some ways you can almost draw an analogy to um, to, to like a style uh, that happens to come with a sort of like h1 h2 something like that right um, so you have the th right you don't have to do it this way you could do td but I think it's nice to do it with the th uh, and you almost kind of explicitly show it that way now the other thing to to be careful with it's more for a readability standpoint. The HTML is the HTML. It'll work, right? The the browser is going to render it properly. But really, when you get into like the assignments, you go into more complicated stuff. If you're not really careful with the grouping and the captioning, uh, not the caption, the indentation, like when there's a problem and you don't know what the heck is going on, uh, it's going to be hard for you to troubleshoot it, or it's going to be hard for you to show it to one of your TAs or myself to troubleshoot it. Um, I recognize some of the editors they do color coding and it kind of makes it easy for you to see these things but you know why not just make it easier for everyone to look at it uh, like a person looking at it uh, and do this indentation exactly like how this is laid out right so you see the table you see the indentation uh, you see another indentation here and it's grouping logically so you know if one of these rows are kind of screwed up it's kind of easy for you to locate it right away uh, so just a coding style uh, suggestion, right? Uh, it gets it gets pretty useful when you start doing things with nesting, right? So you do like nesting nesting on the list or the table or whatever. Uh, it gets really confusing if you don't really do some sort of indentation like this and organize it nicely. Uh, usually there's something wrong, right? So usually you need to be able to debug stuff, and it's just easier visually for a person to look at it uh, if you've organized it nicely. Okay, so that's just an aside here. So again, uh, table, the whole thing is a table here. You have a caption to a table, you have these headers to the table, and there's rows, right? Each one of these rows. And then within the rows is like each of these data elements here. Okay? And that make up each of it, that makes up each of the columns here. Okay? Now, you're going to get some unpredictable results if you kind of put in like, <coughs> you know, different like header and you know different rows in terms of columns right you know if I kind of add different things to it it's gonna look pretty messy so you know there's nothing really enforcing you um, to to adhere to certain things you say oh okay I define this table to be three columns or whatever right um, there's nothing really forcing you to do that you can put in whatever the heck you want uh, again you're gonna get some unpredictable results and it's gonna get messy um, so uh, do try to think a bit and try to Try to be careful with it. 
the indentation and slicing it like this does make it useful, right? So right away I can see one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and stuff like that. Okay, um, so that's kind of with the tables again, you know, similar to uh, these other things here where you're setting the border and the column span. You could do things in terms of setting like um, the font size. You can do things in terms of setting the color, the bold. Um, I could only say you're going to probably get asked to do that for the exam, right? So we left it like this, and you know you can go in there and put in like all these different stylings. So I encourage you to try it out and see for yourself on your browser how those different things will interact and then make notes on it and use that to uh, be ready for the exam because you're going to get, for sure, you're going to get tables uh, on the exam. You're going to get column span on the exams. Um, you know, different stylings on the table and whatnot. So you might get something like, uh, I might show you this table and say, show me the HTML to get to this. Or you might see something like this. You might say, here's a table. Uh, I mean, here's the HTML. Show me the table that you're going to get by doing that. Um, so either one or the other, uh, try and do that. Now, it doesn't mean that we'll give you a table like this on the right side here. And we'll say, oh, you have to know what font size that is or uh, what <laughs> actually what font it is, right? Um, it doesn't mean we're going to do something stupid like that, right? But um, do try to look at a table and say, okay, what kind of HTML I'm going to be able to use to generate that, right? So for example, like this languages part here, you got to know that you have to use the column span to be able to do that, okay? is important that's why I'm kind of mentioning it a few times uh, if you want to be ready for an exam this is what you need to do and that's why I'm kind of making it part of the extra credit for you to kind of write this down uh, and use it as part of your notes for the exam okay so let me see if I missed anything here yeah so I meant I mentioned this right so you had the caption you have the header uh, you have the calm span those are important make sure you understand how to do that uh, Uh, I was just talking about all of this. So again, please try and do this for the tables. I'm going to put that as the extra credit. It, whether you want to collect extra credit or not doesn't matter, right? But it's really, it behooves you to really get this part down because you're going to get at least a couple questions on the exam uh, with respect to table. So do try and practice that. Okay? I'm not going to continue to beat a dead horse on that one. I'll keep on going. Uh, so look at this, right? So take a look at all of these and you know see if there's anything on here that we've uh, we've missed um, but anything that's been highlighted right this is highlighted at the beginning of this PowerPoint too uh, oh actually it wasn't right well, it was supposed to be um, so anyway uh, but these are these are important all of these different things understand what these different things means if you don't uh, reach out to your TA during lab hours uh, whatever uh, and try to make sure you get that down because these things are all important. They're going to be on the exam. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to be finishing up with the chapter nine uh, in subsequent lectures. Uh, but I think for today, this should be good enough to get you going for this week, which will be all of chapter four. Uh, well, actually, a continuation of chapter four. Let me know if there's any questions. Uh, and I think I'm going to probably just put one small extra credit off of chapter 9, but the main extra credit for this week will be this, right? Do the table. Don't just copy this table down, but do show me how you're able to do some font size change, do some bold, uh, do some color, you know, do some style stuff with this, play around with this a little bit, change the border size, right? Um, whatever, like, do show me that. Don't just copy this table down for me, okay? All right, thank you.